up? Hello? Good evening? And all that? I'm excited. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, we are skipping directly to the end of the year, huh? We are down to only one day left of the year. I know it's sad then, but we're gonna try year hand pa party tomorrow. Kick ass! Are you organizing this, Futaba-chan? Thank you for letting us know. Sasha is making your new year sieve soba noodles for us. Oh my god! No curry? I'm I, I'm shocked, shocked I say. In this case, would it be alright if we meet, we met up in the evening? May I invite my sister? Go ahead, whole place is reserved anyway. Then should we call Yoshitsawa too? Morgan and Futaba already covered it, but she really helped me out in that palace before, and it's New Year's Eve, so it's not like she'd be busy at practice. I agree. Then, Ren, you're officially our event coordinator. It's your job to contact her. On it. Alright, see you tomorrow. A year end party, huh? I'm already excited. The new content is a new dish. <laughs> That's it. We do the party with the soba. End of, uh, end of the game. 102 hours to see the soba made by soldier instead of curry. That's it. Let's invite Yoshizawa right away. I know. He is officially a cat now. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. <laughs> Yusuke! Yusuke, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm dying. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers. It's here. beautiful. I want whatever it is that Yusuke is wearing. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop <laughs> staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> Same. <laughs> You, uh, Yuji looks very con concerned right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. <laughs> you skin <cannot. laughs> What do you think about this? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> It's unique. Oh, you've recognized its unique beauty as well. Sure. I'd say it's a little too unique. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's going to get soggy on you. Ah, oh, yes, my apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time. Mm, so good. The soba was a success. Game over. Everyone go home. Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing. You could open a soba restaurant. Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill. Seconds, please. How fast do you eat? Yoshizawa is champion at eating. You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. I'm gonna assume she will beat me at the Big Bang Burger Challenge. <laughs> Her stomach's bottomless. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. Yay! I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. 
And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. I'm a free boy! For real? Oh boy. Angry dog is outside. I'm gonna mute myself for a sec. And that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual, real-life good ending! And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model-turned-actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady Anne would... You're a cat, Morgana, give up. The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, senpai. Burn! I don't think I see that happening. With you. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine. Dude. fine. <laughs> I can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? Uh, so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah. I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. <laughs> you know, considering this game, I think, like, Royal was released in 2019. <coughs> considering what happened in 2020, I would, let's say, you guys might be disappointed. <laughs> well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Such a good dad. Happy New Year! Oh shit, it's already the new year. Let's make it a good one, even if it's the year of the apocalypse. Last year sand seems only yesterday. Should we get together for a party or something? We gotta celebrate somehow. You have something in mind? I don't know, like a mochi eating contest or something. A prospect absolutely devoid of any class or dignity. Shut up, scarf boy! <laughs> I don't know what we do, but I'm totally down to see you all. Same. But not tomorrow. I got plans. Me too. Apologies. But any other time should be fine. Sure, we can pick a day later. Anyways, happy new year. We're gonna have a great one, guys. Hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. And being separated from all of you was really scary. Aww. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. 
become home. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. We are best friends. Oh boy. Uh, hello? Uh, what's going on? Is this Marky's office? Where am I? Class will be dismissed momentarily. Oh boy. Class will be dismissed momentarily. Oh boy. Uh, I get the feeling that I need to go home. Uh, help. This looks like the school. I need to go home. Oh boy. What the fuck? Are we in Silent Hill? I'm creeped out. Help. I'm scared. Uh. Hello. Get awesome results of track meets alongside everyone else on the team. And eventually I get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom. I can hear our voice. What is it? A butterfly? Lavenza? Is that you? I should follow it. Oh boy. I'm so creeped out to the mannequins. If that never happened, I would have gotten to enjoy my time in high school with Shiho. Oh, oh! I, I, I did think like it sounded like Ryuji's voice earlier. We are we are listening to what they like confiding in to Maruki, are, are we? Oh boy. <coughs> oh boy. Oh boy. My sister's been supporting the family. It's unrealistic to demand any more. Oh boy. Marky, what did you do? You don't goofed. I'm helping Okumura from Scrub with my father watching over me. Oh boy, I'm scared. What are we gonna find out of here? Where are you going? I'm going home? <coughs> home? But isn't this where you belong? I see. So you still haven't accepted it. Well, I won't force you into anything. Let's meet again. Oh boy. I feel like I had the most bizarre dream. I yes, you did. What could he have meant? I'm scared. <laughs> Why did you join the Phantom Teams? <laughs> oh, Mishima. Good morning. Hey, Kasumi. Were you still asleep, Mamiya Senpai? Well, I'm up now. Um. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I feel awkward asking this now that I've woken you up, but... Remember promising me that we go pay our respects to the shrine together on New Year's Day? Kinda? <laughs> Great! Well, today's the day, if you want to keep that promise. I realize this might be a bit forward of me, but... What do you say to accompany me to Magic Shrine this afternoon? <sighs> sure. Really? Great, thank you. It'd probably be pretty crowded today, but it wouldn't be too bad in the afternoon at least. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> I must agree. I'll make sure to pray to the gods that it won't be so crowded. Oh shoot, 
I hope it doesn't count as me wishing before making my offering. Hey, you up yet? I'm counting well, on let's meet at the shrine around noon. I'll see you then. If you're awake, could you lend me a hand? Sorry to make work your first activity in the new year. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. Thanks, Sojiro. Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? Clearly not. I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. By the way, is it me or... I feel like the colors are more muted and... Like, things are a bit blurry. I feel like something's afoot here. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. Maybe it's just my impression, I don't know. Ah, how about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? I definitely feel like the colors in the... in the blank are more muted than usual right now. That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? It's game. Uh. Uh. Um. Mm, help. Uh. Help. <laughs> What's going on? I'm scared. Someone come hold me. <laughs> no. I'm fucking terrifying right now. Uh, help me! Excuse me, but who are you? Who am I? Yes. Are you still half asleep or something? Uh. <clears throat> hey, Fudaba. What bam? Oh, oh looking sharp. Uh, yes. Uh. Uh, I'm scared. I'm officially scared. Oh, you look absolutely <coughs> lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my hand. <laughs> um, um, I'm, uh, <laughs> guys, what the fuck is going on? Help! Uh, what did it just say? <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Oh god. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. Sorry, but I think I'll be getting there sooner than I expected. It was way less crowded than I thought it would be. Did my wish actually come cr come true? Oh boy! <laughs> Maybe it did. I'll wait by the entrance once I get there. Don't worry, no need to worry. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? Um, uh, I promised to do something. Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. Ooh, sexy coat. That reminds me, I still haven't seen Morgana today. <laughs> Imagine a neon arrow pointing at this person sitting on the stool right now. Where could he have gone? I, I still have the feeling, um, I don't know, maybe it's like it doesn't come through quite as clearly through this, like the stream. But I definitely feel like the colors are suddenly more muted than they usually are. Anyway, I need to head over to the magic shrine.
You're so cute. Senpai. you a new year's card so here we That's are so okay. <laughs> well shall we <laughs> i wonder why there aren't many people here at all oh wishes it's really unexpected i'd almost prefer the usual crowd oh boy the end of the year was just a few hours ago mm -hmm. believe it or don't only 364 days until the next one. That is true, but... I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch gears? Yusuke, where is your scarf? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> How many coincidences can there be in one day? Oh boy. A lot, apparently. And a good morning. To you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa-senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. <laughs> she said my family, not my sister. Is my goddess dad alive too? Oh God, help! I have somewhere to be as well. Is Yusuke's mother alive too? Help! <laughs> Are everyone's parents fucking alive right now? <laughs> Me too. I'll be dining with my father some. I fucking knew it. Uh, yeah, Red is like. Some New Year sales with my mom. <laughs> Red's like, hey, make, fu make fucking excuse me. <laughs> well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Oh god. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans. Oh yet. boy. It's like no one's making any sense. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm -hmm. See you later. Looks like it's just us now. Oh, I was wondering earlier. What did you wish for at the Shrine Senpai? I wish for things to go back to normal. I'm scared. <laughs> Stay. I already forgot. I'm too scared. <laughs> well, we did just run into everyone else. Maybe that was your wish. And you? Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. It's from my dad. Uh, he's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. Uh, we'll hang out soon, I think. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. Dad! You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. <laughs> Why is Yoshizawa's dead face so flat? I'm scared. <clears throat> Who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. 
this is my senpai. <laughs> hey, hey, flat face. <laughs> the one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D Dad, not all the time. <laughs> is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. <laughs> Fuck fish face. <laughs> You're welcome. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. I mean, supposedly that's what glasses are for. Well, shall we get going? Uh, <laughs> help! What? Okay, I'm starting to see where this is going now. Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing. I'm starting to see where this is going now. Well then, senpai, please excuse us. L let me lay out my theory for you guys. Obviously, we know something's up because you know protagonist Kun. But obviously, Kasumi also has noticed in this mo in this moment, if not earlier. As noticed that something is amiss. And I'm ready to like bet out my right leg that Akechi definitely knows that something is not right or, like right now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I'm gonna say that all the others will stay mostly blessedly unaware of all the bullshit that's going on in the background. And it's gonna be a three-man team with maybe human Morgana, maybe. I should head back to my room. Yes, <laughs> go back. I'm scared. Morgana still hasn't returned. <laughs> huh? I feel like the questionnaire on the front side has changed too. Hey, do we have our first dream of the year today? Do we? I thought that was tomorrow night. Is that a big deal? You just have your first dream whenever it happens. Hey, this is important. I can't let my first dream of the year be a nightmare. Then it doesn't count, duh. Here, take a look at this. Maybe it'll help you have a good dreams. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> that's very cute even through the bullshittery. <clears throat> huh? When do you take this? It was before we met up with you guys, we all bumped into each other first. Though maybe we should have taken a full group shot since we were all meeting up anyway. This photo is good on its own way, indeed. I believe it will inspire some good dreams. But you gotta dream of specific things if you want to have a good year, right? What's the tradition thing again? Mount Fuji, sheep and okra? Sounds messy. It was Mount Fuji, a hawk and an eggplant, in that order. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make myself a dream about that. I have no idea what they're talking about. Obviously, this is some cultural thing that I'm, I'm simply not privy to being an Italian has on Italian soil. <laughs> I sincerely doubt you can brute force yourself into dreams. I plan to have a dream of singular beauty. I gotta go to bed anyway. I got practice tomorrow too. Ah! <laughs> Uh, Red is like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> what happened this afternoon can be normal. Something is wrong. <laughs> I can feel a warm breeze on my face. <laughs> guys, uh, guys, I'm afraid. <laughs> I am so very scared right now. Mm. I sense someone's presence. Human Morgana. <laughs> this is like that meme. Una, human Morgana does not exist. It can't hurt you. And then... Human Morgana! <laughs> What's up? 
the timing. Oh god, I'm fucking crying. Uh, so this is awkward. Uh, what's going on here? Huh? I was just sleeping. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. <laughs> Am I? What's going on? You're fucking you, man. Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Who is talking right now? Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. <laughs> Ren is so confused. Oh, it is Wagaba. These beans are the best. Oh no. Oh. They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. Are you trying to get hitched sometime soon? Oh, oh, oh. I'm in pain. Thanks, but no. I'm in so much pain. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans. They'll change your life. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to pick this answer. I I need to. There is no other like. <laughs> there is no other one I can possibly pick. Sphinx lady. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? Oh boy. <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Wakaba. <laughs> yes, we know Wakaba is game. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Thank you for the reminder, but we have a memory that's a little bit stronger than one of a like a fish in a bowl. Just saying. <laughs> Wakaba is Fudaba's mother's name. Yeah. But she's no longer... What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. <laughs> Why are you stop it? <laughs> I want to... Okay, uh, seriously, I, I need to know wh which fucking role human Morgana has in this entire family little picture. Morning, Mona. <laughs> Is he like my, like my brother? Morning. Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? <laughs> Don't tell me! <laughs> you want Morgana is also giving me nightmares. <clears throat> Don't tell you what? Morgana's arrived for breakfast? Seriously, are you alright? No, I'm not alright at all. Something is definitely very wrong here. Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Oh boy. Thank you for the food. I love how Ren is sitting away from the table, <laughs> like, kind of looking stalkery and freaking the fuck out. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal, like a cup of coffee. Boy. That was a subtle request. <laughs> a subtle, that's a fucking sledgehammer in a glass shop. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I shall return. I'm suffering. Be careful. Morgana is supposed to be a cat, and Wagaba, she shouldn't be here with us. What's the matter? Oh, you have no idea. Well, <laughs> here it comes. Hi. <sighs> I know it seems absurd to say, but I'm happy to see you right now. <laughs> Sorry, 
We haven't opened for the day yet. Help! Help! My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. <laughs> we are all very happy to see Akechi right now. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? <laughs> I bet, I bet the reflection on Ren's glasses right now is spelling, help me, please. <laughs> we have to discuss this. Yes, sir. <laughs> you remember? That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. Help! What the fuck is going on? Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. What's happening? <laughs> That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Yes! Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. For some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. Ooh, that's too weird. I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it? That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. What say we join forces on this? No much of a choice, do I? <sighs> what would we do? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? It's right about the need for teamwork to deal with this bizarre situation. <coughs> it may be best to, to work with Akechi on this. Have you made up your mind? <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice, huh? Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and... Uh... Make it three, Akechi. Make it three. What happened? on my way oh boy I understand I'll see you soon that was Yoshizawa son's voice wasn't it yeah I believe I heard her say the word palace. yeah I guess she spot one despite not being in the metaverse 
You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Oh boy. We just happened to be together when he got your call. <laughs> Kazumi, don't ask. Trust me, you don't want to know. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Kazumi, you don't want to know! Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom. Of course not. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. You can tell him. He knows. He knows. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seemed to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. I mean, oh, it's. Is it back? The Metaverse Navigator icon is back on my own screen. I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the map. That lasted not long at all. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but. There is an entry in the search history, but I can't read what pass it is. Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. <coughs> it's Margie. <Marie. coughs> Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? Uh, infiltration time! That settles it. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, freaky! Oh, I was... Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. I was just wondering if Akechi will show up in his real attire or not. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. <laughs> oh, look! Your true outfit, you piece of shit! True outfit? Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa-san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out.
Oh boy. Ah, look at this team. Boy, howdy. We found a treasure chest. Yay, chest right away. Why not? This place feels different than it did last time. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went in last time? I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see, so you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. Now, let's keep going. Let us depart. Oh boy. Ooh, I'm actually curious to see what these guys are saying. Happiness for everyone, huh? Maybe it can really happen. Maybe it can even get a better life. Hmm, that's actually pretty solid. Oh boy. Apparently anyone com who comes here can become happy. I wonder if that's really true. Although, everyone here seems to be having fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mysterious person in the <laughs> we don't get a silhouette. There are so many people here. This is definitely different from the last time. Oh, giant cameras! Scary, help! Welcome and thank you for coming, patients. You will be guided to one of our specialty care facilities according to your individual desires. We will assist each and every one of you, oh boy. Rest assured, everyone can become happy. Should you have any questions about the facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. <coughs> what a strange announcement, become happy? What kind of place is this? Oh boy. Boy. This lady scares me. I help. I have something. Hello. Those geysers. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Um, take us to your lure, bitch. Lee, you are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. Look, I literally just fought a god. Can you guys, like, give me some slack? The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. You know what? When he's not being a fake ass bitch, I guess he's much more like a like a likable. That is a difficult word to say, apparently, for me. So yeah, keep going like that, Akechi. We prefer it. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Oh boy. Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a blood <laughs> Yes! I can't take off! <laughs> it's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. I'll catch you, son. 
Kazumi is like, okay, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Meanwhile, Ren is like, eh, uh, I'll ask per usual, nothing to worry about. Now, time to obliterate them. <laughs> okay, this dynamic is fucking hilarious. I love it. Oh, hi, Loki. Nice to see you. It's time. Hey, look who it is. My babe. You're mine. No time for <laughs> yeah, go wild, I guess. Go off. <laughs> Good boy. I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Because we literally didn't, did not move a finger, said. Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. <sighs> Yoshizawa san. <laughs> She's a so that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so... I've only shared pleasantries with the Kachu-san. <laughs> Kazumi is so confused. Poor Kazumi. Would you say <coughs> this is how he normally is? Like a, a ruthless sort of person? He's never been more, si more sincere than this in his entire life, Kazumi, I assure you. Yeah, this is normal. <laughs> Just every day, okay? <laughs> this fucking dynamic is the best. I'm dying. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless <laughs> sort of person is too much for you to handle. Busted! <laughs> Looks like we're busted. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. This is amazing. Somewhere. To your happiness. Hello. Aren't you going to get examined? I'm on my way right now. So exciting. If you say so, lady. No, I feel like Ren is... Mm, maybe Ren is not just like... Uh, indifferent. I feel like Ren is just... Uh, tiredly, has tiredly given up to... The state of things. Oh boy. Like, homicidal maniac, tired keeper, very confused puppy, that's the dynamic. I'm fucking crying. Oh my god, we're getting the commentary from my cash! God, I'm, I, I can't, I, I can't. <laughs> Excellency, Joker. I fucking can't. I can't deal with this. I'm fucking dying. Major, there's a safe room somewhere nearby. Show me your true form. I. Oh, hello. He didn't see us at all. I feel like everyone is currently changing their mind about Agechi. Me included. I'm definitely very much appreciating this do this new more sincere Akechi. I wonder if I can grab this eh the time will come. I 
can't. I can't. I, I can't breathe. This is going to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess you, why aren't you? Are you not always like this? Oh my god. There, there are little tears in my eyes right now. I'm fucking dying. All right. I. <laughs> we had room to spare. Oh god. Help. Help me. <laughs> Help all of us. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? <laughs> Don't you just want to go ape shit? I should write something. It sure <laughs> God. Hey, what do you have to do say? You have a moment? I realize resting is important every so often, but do we really, need, really have the time to relax? Uh, I want some more biting commentary from you. I get this strange feeling in my chest. I do hope it's just my nerves about this place. Or maybe it's just the fact that you are standing like nearby a fucking maniac. <laughs> now, let us depart. Oh boy. What? That voice. Look. No way. Is that a father? I think it is. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. <sighs> What's going on? Why? Why? I think. I think, yes, that might be Kazumi's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire. My younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? Yeah. But how was this video? Boy, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? <sighs> After transferring here. I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. Oh. Was he calling her Sumire? Maybe. Oh boy. Things are freaky. Things are real freaky. Focus. Not in here? Doesn't look like... Okay, but... What's this area up here? I kinda want to go back and check. Okay. <coughs> Have you seen the announcement on the bulletin board? It might be tough at first, but don't worry, there are lessons for beginners too. If you're interested, you should definitely get yourself examined. It'll change your entire world. Also, you know, everyone is like changing into white garbs. It feels so cultish. God help.
Oh boy. I can see it. Mm. Just a normal poster, nothing to see here. Christ. This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh. You seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. don't know what to think what a mess you are misguided do not search for pain only tragedy awaits you beyond here huh. a newcomer all these warnings of pain and tragedy who is your ruler why do you all think you know so much about me oh boy if you won't give me an answer then I'll just force my way through. Oh, Kazumi is going in. Oh boy. Oh, not doing so good, huh? Stop rushing into things. Just calm down. <laughs> The maniac is gonna tell you all it's done. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. <laughs> oh my god! He's taking her under his wing! Oh, this is so cute. What the fuck? Persona! You're mine. Noise. Mm, block that, huh? <laughs> Psychic. Yeah. Useless. Oh no! Akeji! No oh no, Akeji's losing it! Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Oh boy, I'm not liking where this is going. Is Sumire. Your performance exceeded anything seen before in the junior class. It was absolutely stunning. But you'll be entering high school soon. Will that impact your career in gymnastics? Oh, I have no intentions of stopping. It's my dream to compete and win at the international level. How wonderful. One last question. Is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out while you have the chance? My younger sister. She should be here in the stadium. What? Oh, there she is! Sumire! Uh... <laughs> Guys... I'm not liking where this is going... Not at all... Stop it! 
I... <sighs> Yoshizawa-san? Your... I really hope this helped you understand. Hey, Maruki! It's been a hot minute since we spoke to you. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. <sighs> Are you okay? Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. <laughs> Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. I can I'm not it. liking where this is going. Reveal your true form. Let's go. Trash. They didn't see us at all. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ, dude, you already need to fucking chill. Joker got a two for one deal there. I want I, I want a catchy commentary forever in every game for the rest of my life. Can I try to grab this guy? Let's give it a try. Uh. Oh well. What a whip. I guess you could try being nice to it. See if it falls for the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> oh, wrong one. Uh -huh. Well, we can give it another try another time, I suppose. Doesn't kill us, make them stronger. Time to be on our way. All right. It's somewhere. There he is. Hello. This palace is... It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Sup? Dr. Mark oh god, he's got... He has become evil with his slicked back hair. Glad to see you're all doing well. Oh god, help! I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, right? Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? <sighs> Not really. You created it? That's right. I've gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever the people wish for. <laughs> I didn't wish for this. 
Is that how you really feel? Yes! The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers <laughs> immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. Oh, God. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really oh, are. Oh, God. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. That's... Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. Uh, but you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Oh, look where you're going! The light's red! <clears throat> hey! Oh no! <laughs> The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Samiri, stop! Listen to me! Samiri! Oh, no. Oh no. Hi. Uh, seems you remembered. That's right. I'm <coughs> No. Uh, neither of these are right. Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring, before I started at Shujin. We were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams and even her life. No. I'm her younger sister. Samira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Yeah, yeah, tell us about it, you bitch ass motherfucker. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi san's younger sister. But for months now, 
She's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Like me, because I never heard anyone call her Sumire. I always heard everyone else refer to her as Yoshizawa-san, of course. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name in Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. Fuck! It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. <laughs> That's why I was suspicious of her. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. You motherfucker! The, the, what? Are you serious right now? This motherfucker's been playing this game since way before we even came into the picture? Oh boy. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san... <coughs> um, uh, that's not of any of this work. Where the fuck did you take your, like... Uh, whatever it's called, doctorate or whatever, the fucking milk point. Then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. <laughs> I agree, Akechi. I very much agree. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <clears throat> my work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. <coughs> no one will Christ. ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This... palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. Yeah, if you think that was saving her, her, I don't even want to know what the fuck the saving everyone else is gonna look like, dude. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. Not really, you did all by yourself. What happened to the old reality? I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. Thank you, Akechi. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi. Yeah. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san. Allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, 
you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... <laughs> Believe me yourself! It's impossible. You can do it! I'm sorry, Senpai. No! Sumir, don't! I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Oh. Please don't judge her. <laughs> I'm, I'm not judging her, I'm judging you! This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? No! I find my own happiness, bitch. No deal so far, huh? Oh boy. No. What do you think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> Uh, this isn't the reality, bitch. It saddens me when you speak that way. Especially the bitch, I, sp I, I bet. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Are those her wishes, though? Her wishes, huh? Yeah. This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. <laughs> yes! A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. You scary, scary gross shadow. Oh boy. I agree though. It seems we're out of options here. Time to fight. Are you ready? As ready as ever. Keep up and don't embarrass me. Huh. Oh boy. Stubborn episodes. Rejecting our lore. Disgusting. We're not here to listen to your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's useless, idiot. <laughs> oh, the commentary never gets old. I'll break them. <laughs> I fucking love the commentary. Oh my god, please. Go down. Oh fuck. Well, this haven't put in any damage yet. Oh, let's not do that. Uh, let's see. Use this. Yeah. Persona. Let's not do that. Okay. All right. Here you go, buddy. Nice time. You 
thought that would hit So this is fear. Oh, don't. Stop doing this. Oh my god. Oh, do I have anything to counter that? Okay, I think it's time to go and hit. Okay. Persona. Do what? Let's play support. <laughs> Saggy bitch. I have no fucking clue what their show time is gonna be. God, no. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. Persona. Fine. Sandalfon. Go down. Why did I do that? Come on, it's almost dead. Oh, fuck Christ, just die. No, such pathetic attempts will be. Oh, Christ. No, just <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> don't. Oh, well. Fuck off! Did you just quit running your mouth already? I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand, guys. Is this it? Is it gonna happen right now? I think it is. <laughs> oh yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm scared. No more games. What the fuck did I just see? Oh my god! Wow! Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Shut up! Mm. Let us help her, bitch! Mm. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. No, you led her to believe that! 
There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. Oh boy. We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. Oh boy. He got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind <laughs> behind this absurd situation. <laughs> okay, she's salty. <laughs> And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. I'm worried about Sumire, yeah? I think it'd be suicide to march back in there at the moment. We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So this is the reality that Maruki created. There is no point obsessing over it now. I should go back to my room. Where fucking human Morgana is! <laughs> I don't want to go home. Human Morgana scares me. Hey, hey. Welcome home. You sure were out late. It's me. I discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. I called Yoshitsawa-san's house to see what I'd learned. They believe she's been at training camp since yesterday. To think Maruki is really, really is changing our physical reality as he sees fit. Ugh, that's scary as fuck. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. Even the great phantom tears you are so proud of fell in line with this scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we can use the manpower. If you actually bring them to their senses, that is. That's all dependent on whether or not they'll be capable of living the reality they supposedly wished for. I'll focus on investigating Maruki further. You do what you need to. Got it. Well, I'll reach out to you should anything come up. Good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. <coughs> oh boy, human Morgana, you don't know the, like... Even half of it. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't us Phantom Tears all go to a hot spring together sometime? Ooh. Why is he calling the group Phantom Tears anyway? I have so many questions right now. Then Lelina... No! Lelina, I can... <laughs> Morgana, don't. Don't. <laughs> this is so wrong. My brain! How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already, already enjoying it, Amamiya kun. It seems this reality is the one that Morgana wished for. Alright, we ought to eat the hay for today. Uh, the bed might be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Yeah, about that. What the fuck are you in relation to all of this? Seriously? <laughs> Is anyone gonna explain that? Like, are you supposed to be my brother or something? Oh well, I'll just start sleeping on the sofa instead. 
Uh, you're what? <laughs> Are you happy? Huh? Where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. Let's not do that. The, the, I'm feeling disturbed. Do you like this reality? Like reality? Well, it is the one we fought for with everyone else. So, okay, so the Phantom Thieves still existed in this reality and fought against fucking Yalta Bauf anyway. But was Morgana a human all along in his memories? Ugh. This, this entire reality thing, it's like leaking like a bot full of holes wait what did i mean by yeah see 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 the reality is leaking that doesn't seem right yeah i got captured in kamushida's palace and that's when i met you guys when we got to mementos i transformed into a, a a fucking bus i know you can do this Huh? Oh, okay. I got to be useful for humans that I admire so much. No, they can't make me happier. Uh, what was? Sorry, I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for a bit. You should go get some sleep. I see that even in human form, Morgana is telling us to go to sleep. <sighs> Seems all I can do now is wait. Oh boy. Yes, please. Christ, what a mess. Murky said that your friends are already enjoying it. I should go see them. Where is everyone? I should look for them while I check the town. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go. boy so hey oh for real oh chiho oh my god you did this Shio. i knew you could it's all thanks to you supporting me, Han. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort and now you're finally being recognized. Huh? Ren? I can't believe it. Over here! Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since the last time you saw Shio, right? Yeah. Um... Long time no see, Hamamiyaku. Do you remember me? Shio Suzui, right? <laughs> Whoa, you remember me? We didn't even get to talk out that much since I transferred to another school so early into the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember, what with the bragging? I told him all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, and... Sorry, you have to put up with all that, Hamamiyakun. Um... She was the MVP at the big meet the other day too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shio. Jeez. Uh -huh, you're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. Seems this reality is the one, the one that the Han wished for. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, she is coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that she is in the top school when it comes to the sport. Yeah, but why is that? Is that it's Kamoshira back and he's now a nice guy. I'm scared. <coughs> That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back after more than a little begging. I was so sad when she's transferred for her parents' job, but all well that ends well. I feel like everything is just perfect. Oof, is it everything you wished for? Hmm? What I wish for? Well, I guess you could say so. Any doubts about it? <laughs> Uh, what do you mean, any doubts? Well, I know I don't. I spent so much time worrying over everything that now I've... Wait, what? <laughs> this fucking reality... It, it, it seriously is leaking like a broken boat. Maruki, you did a shit job, man. Something what? is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die, but then I met everyone and... I'll be waiting for you. Oh, they're gonna realize. Uh. What does that? She is still alive, even if all, after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Uh, I just... Anne, what's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry, Sorry. Ren. I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Hamumiakun. Oh, they are gonna join us. They are gonna remember my good boys and girls. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Oh, am I gonna visit uh, like one of them every single day? I seemed happy to be with Shio, who is able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. Glue and paper, you say? I'd say speed and paper. Glue is being too generous here. <coughs> there has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Yes, like everyone but Han and Morgana. I should go see them. Morgana is here. Maybe he knows where everyone else is. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Hey, hmm? are, you, you have a minute? are you looking for someone? Haru? She was thinking about setting up shop in Kishijoji. By the way, did you guys notice that Morgana just spoke with his whole voice? And not the deep, sexy one? Hmm. <laughs> the voice. <laughs> she went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy for, for doing a bunch of bossy work. Hmm. Sorry, but is that all you need? I kind of want to be alone. Oh boy. Maybe I should head to Shibuya. Alright. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. <clears throat> exactly. Oh, look who it is. Hello, you two. <coughs> huh. Huh, Ren. What a coincidence. We were just doing a bit of shopping, <laughs> but soon we are going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. <sighs> I know, I, uh, we all knew it, let's face it. Uh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, Makoto, you don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember that telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I kind of want to see their dad now. <laughs> I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what grocery do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what dad would like me to cook. I made the eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried macaron on yours, right? I guess you remember how you pestered dad about it until he could get it for you. Hey. See this? I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. 
Oh, the two of them are beaming with joy. Yay! It seems this UAV is the one that Mahodo wished for. That reminds me. Uh, Ren, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. I can't to see you, I suppose. Me? Something the matter? You seem very happy, Magodo. Huh? You yes, you think so? Oof, has your dad been so supportive? My dad, of course. He's done such a great job as a single parent, and. No, but. Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so dad raised us alone. And sis. <sighs> Happy wedding for you, Makoto. Wait, <gasps> what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Oh boy. I just. Makoto, what's wrong? Oh no, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, Ren. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Uh, yes, all we can do now is wait. Apparently, we are the killing joy with Fire Guy right now. Akechi must be proud. Yes. Yes, I'm sure he is. He would probably laugh. It's man like maniacal laugh. Makoto seemed happy being able to spend time with both the father and sister. But is this true the of things should be? Yeah, we should check up on the others. <sighs> Let's go see some people. Hey Morgana, <laughs> what's up? Hey, hmm? you have a minute? Yeah, the voice is back. Are you looking for someone? Ryuji, he's been doing great this year. I think he said he'd be doing laps around the school. You think training would be a drag, but he sure seems to be enjoying it. I'm a little tired from thinking too much. I think I'm gonna go for a walk and cream my head. Let's see, what are we gonna find next? Oh boy. I took the wrong, the, the long way around. Oh well. Wait, sorry. I just. Ominous guy is still here. Hey, what's up? Hey, don't you think something is kind of off about this town? <laughs> Guys, Ominous guy has, re has realized something's wrong. Everybody looks so happy all of a sudden. What is the worst going on? It's almost creepy. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Oh boy, look! Oh god, oh boy. Look at the map. What the f. Oh. Oh. Ryuji's here. Oh boy. Amen. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You mean you got scouted by the college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid! I'm not for uh, it's not for sure or nothing yet, anyway. And just saying the school's got the word of something like that. Still, the rules. You and made it onto the podium at the nationals too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man! Huh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off by the team by you guys. Ryuji is laughing happily with the other members of the track team without me, boyfriend. 
It seems this reality is the one that you usually wish for. Hmm? Ren, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe stop by to congratulate you too? Man, someone sure is popular. He's my boyfriend. Is there anywhere you wanna go hit after practice? It's our trade today. Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, won't you come in? don't you come with us, Ren? Uh, enjoy the return to track? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fun, but what do you mean? It's just what I like doing, you know? I get all down when I'm not running. <laughs> do you like this reality, Ryuji? What? Do I like it? Huh, what are you talking about? Well, I guess I did do a hell of a lot of growing last year. If it were for all that, I'd be a totally different person now. Wait, what? Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other, anyhow? First we met in front of the station by school, then... <sighs> I keep thinking, man. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here goes! Oh, it's a heroic moment! Whoa. Oh, the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. Sorry, I got to go back to practice. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> oh boy. Everyone is so happy. In this fucking leaky reality. Ryuji seems sincerely happy about being able to run with his fellow track team. But is this how things should be? No, it's my boyfriend! <laughs> ah. Oh boy, let's see what's gonna be next. Hey Morgana, <laughs> I reached any. Uh, by the way, Morgana is constantly surrounded by cats, so subtle game, very subtle. Hey, mm -hmm. you have a minute? Looking for someone? Haru? She was thinking about setting up a shop in Kishi Joji. She went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy for doing a bunch of busy work. Hey, have you got a shorter or something? I feel like I used to have to look up at you. Never mind, you're reading out, right? Stay safe. <sighs> Boy. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. Oh boy. So I suppose we have to go in Kiss Joji now. Where are you at, Taru? There she is. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This will make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients and a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. My. Oh, Rancoon! I didn't expect to run into you here. Uh, what are you up to? I'm meeting out my father today. We are here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? 
Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh, to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Wait. Gee, it's father, don't jump to the conclusions like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, we're such a man to appear in your life. Make sure you tell me right away, understand? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? Haru and their father are enjoying each other's company. It seems this reality is the one that Haru wished for. It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must truly be a wonderful friend for her. Please, be, keep being as good to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father... Oh, would you care to do something together, Rancoon? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. <clears throat> Who's business? I'm not so I don't know sure. all the details, I'm just sampling out to my father. He's been busy, but the stuff has been holding up her own hand. Terrot scouting new businesses location too. All in all, I like to think things are going quite well. Uh, what will you do next? Huh? Well, my next stop would be... I plan to work alongside my father and help me him... Uh, um. What is this? I feel as if I'm forgetting something. Uh, I know you get through this. Mm. Okay. What happiness can be found through profit gain by crushing the hearts of others? Oh boy. Excuse me. What? That just now that was Haru, what's the matter? Uh, I'm nodding father, nodding really. You must be getting exhausted after all this surveying. Then we take a break somewhere. My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. Ah. Rest in peace indeed. Oh boy. Haru seemed happy, happy being able to talk to a father without fear, but this is so truly how things should be. We should check up on others tomorrow, yeah. And I mean, and I mean that literally because... Oh, it's been a long two hours full of excitement. And I'm tired. And I'm especially tired of reading, my throat is killing me. So... We're gonna save here side by side with this creepy human Morgana. I'll just add this. Oof. And tomorrow we shall see whatever other fuckery is afoot in our future. Oof. For now, yes, this has been a trip, to put it mildly. Oh boy. I'm so curious to see how tomorrow will go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mona, your human form is not cute. I just, I'm just, I don't know, I just so creeped out, I can't, I can't deal, my brain just can't. Alright, for now I'm gonna wish you all a good night, good rest of the day, whatever works for you. And I shall see you tomorrow with more of this fuckery. So, bye bye!